Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Another Hobby Master one we have here from the 172 Air Power series. And it is a Junkers JU87 Stuka. Uh, it says D3 in the box here, but it's actually a G1. And this particular one is from Schlachtkaschwara 1, which was formed during World War II in uh, 1942 for the German Luftwaffe, of course for close air support and anti-tank warfare. SG-1 did see action mainly on the Eastern Front, with small elements also being used in uh, North Africa. Uh, this particular aircraft here is from uh, June of 1944, set up for anti-tank duties in the Ukraine. And uh, it mounted uh, underwing, two underwing cannons, some 37mm uh, Flak-18 board cannons, and each one of those uh, are loaded with two six-round armor-piercing magazines, and they were used very effectively against uh, Russian armor and other obvious armor elements during World War II. And this particular aircraft, I think, um, with the uh, numbering on it, is the an early mount flown by Hans Ulrich Rudel, which uh, no doubt a lot of you will know who that is. But what we'll do is we'll get this aircraft out of the box right now and have a real good look at it. So here we have it out of the box. As you can see, it does have a, like a little stand underneath the normal Hobby Master stand. And it does have those two uh, flak 18s that do need to be mounted to the underneath of the aircraft. We'll open up the box and get this uh, Stuka out and have a good look at this beautiful aircraft. It is Hobby Master, so we are looking forward to uh, having a, a real good rendition here. And uh, no doubt we will be pleased with what we will have in our hands. Uh... The coloration, very nice. The paint application is quite good, as you can see. We'll have a, a real good look at those panel lines. As you can see, beautiful. The propeller does spin nicely. It's got a little tank on the front, the marking on the front there. Uh, I think this is another exquisite Hobby Master one. It's a, a fantastic rendition. It does have all the correct markings on it too, which is good. Uh, some manufacturers do not do that. The aerial does seem to be a little bit bent there. But we'll fix that into place. But I did buy this um, second hand from a seller uh, on eBay uh, for $75, so which wasn't too bad uh, for a Hobbymaster aircraft. And uh, it is in fantastic condition, so there is no issue with that, apart from that little uh, aerial that does look a little bit bent when you purchase your own you will not have that issue so don't uh don't take that into account when uh looking at this aircraft but i think overall this is another beautiful example by hobby master of a junkers ju87 stuka and it is fantastic for sure we will uh put it over and have a look underneath the coloration underneath we'll have a look at some of those details there the wheels, you know, they do move, so that's uh, one little thing. So the wheels on this one do do actually rotate. I think overall it does does look very obviously the rear rear one doesn't, and uh, this of course is a fixed landing gear aircraft, so there's no need to assemble anything. But the thing we need to do is put those uh, flak 18s on the underneath of this aircraft. So we'll do that now and uh, have a look at it properly kitted out. So here we have it all kitted out. Those uh, nice 37 millimeters do fit up beautifully. They are some uh, really well detailed. The actual cannons themselves do have a hole in, in the tips, so you can see a bit of hollow in there for a bit more realism. Uh, the, the whole thing just, you know, those two little uh, underwing armaments just plump straight in real easy. No, no real drama whatsoever. And uh, I think it's got some fantastic detail underneath there. It's got a lot of writing that you can sort of hardly see you got to really have a good close look at the writing everything a lot of these finer details as you can see underneath there it is amazing how uh, how intricate they are and it comes up fantastic so we'll just uh turn it over again and have a little look that's the profile of it it is another another great stuka as i've said and the, as i i've said the the colors are good and you know me i do have a quite a few Stukas and I still have quite a few more to review from various manufacturers besides Hobby Master. I do have a couple of Corgi ones as well and obviously some more Hobby Master ones but uh, yeah I just thought I'd uh, show you this one next and uh, 
Oh, I don't want to flood you with a whole heap of Stuka videos, <laughs> so we'll uh, pop them out whenever we uh, feel the need to chuck a Stuka out there. But uh, yeah, I reckon it's pretty cool, and it does come with that sort of uh, Hobby Master stand. We'll just plonk this uh, Yulkers down. We'll zoom in a fraction for you, and that is it. And I reckon it is a cool looking unit for sure. A, uh, another well made Hobby Master Stuka. It is fantastic. So once again, this is from the 172 Air Power series. It is by Hobby Master. It is a Junkers JU87 G1, um, as used uh, by uh, Schlachka Schwader 1 during the Ukraine uh, offensive or the fighting of Ukraine during 1944. And uh, I do reckon it's a good one. And it is the Tank Buster version with those twin 37 millimeters. And uh, I reckon it's a very tidy unit for sure. All right, guys, I will wind this up. And uh, I hope you enjoyed another Stuka video. Um, if you did, throw us a little like. That'd be awesome. And you know the deal. If you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. That would be awesome as well. All right, guys. Check out the photos of this at the conclusion of this video, which is winding up. And you can check it out without the sausage fingers in the way. All right. Thank you so much for spending your time watching another one of our videos. I appreciate it immensely. And you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.